Hey, fool, this is your boy d -Lo, back again with another one, and this recently came out. So, this got, uh, article came from TopClassAction.com. So, apparently, y'all, there's a, a lawsuit that's currently going on. Forward class action alleged that Fusion Escape has defective transmission. And this is interesting because if y'all remember, those who've been subscribed to my channel since day one, Y'all remember I did a video on the article talking about the uh 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 the transmission issue in General Motor Truck and that lawsuit that was going on during that time period. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link uh um uh, put link in the description box or put that particular video on the index cause index call of this video. So this ain't with the first time a vehicle suffer a, a defective transmission, and that, that, that ain't be the first time that there be a lawsuit about that. So this that this particular time is is forward. So this is a April fourth article. So so more than a hundred plaintiffs have joined four class action lawsuit. The class action alleged. The automaker knowingly sold certain Ford Fusion and Ford Escape vehicle with a transmission defect that can cause premature wear of the internal component and potentially lead to catastrophic uh, failure. What is up with these people? Almost like they job all over again with the General Motor uh, lawsuit of transmission. They have problems with their transmission. They literally act like that that the, the defect problem is going up. Their transmission was normal when it when it was doing the uh the only kept him uh, uh kept him a wilder noise, and they act like nothing was wrong. Nothing was wrong. I don't know what these people problem out here. The Ford class action lawsuit was filed in Michigan federal court. So Ford Motor Company don't know at least so Ford Fuel and Ford Escape with defective transmission according to claim made in a 533-page uh, Ford class action lawsuit filed on March the 20th in Michigan Federal Court. The Ford transmission defect alleged uh, alleged affected Marty year 2010 and 2020 Ford Fuel and 20, uh, 2009. And 2021 Ford Escape vehicle. The Ford repeatedly lied to consumer as the reason for the problem consumer experience, said the Ford class action lawsuit, which has already been joined by more than 100 plaintiffs. As a result, the consumer were, were and are stuck in unsafe fusion and escape auto that have costly repair and uh, minimal resale value. Alleged due to the Ford transmission defect. The automaker alleged knew the Ford transmission in its fuse and escape had a defective condition that could um, manifest in violent jerking, delayed acceleration, difficulty stopping, hard deceleration, and premature wear of the internal component. And potentially a catastrophic failure. The Ford's transmission defect is a result of a fundamental design flaw or failure in the interconnected array of a software and hardware system that allow these transmissions to operate. The Ford class action lawsuit alleged. Had the plane didn't know about the Ford transmission defect and the potential potential for the premature failure, they would not have purchased or leased the fit the vehicle according to the Ford class action lawsuit. I guess not. If you know that, of course you wouldn't do that. But that's how some of these people out here do. And if you want, if you want some more, and if you want another uh, round of evidence, that's how they do. Go to the uh lawsuit that have taken place over the town with the car dealership themselves. You know, some of these people, let this, let this face fact, y'all. Some of these people out here are just crooked. What's wrong with all of you? And this is what it is. As a result of the underclosed Ford transmission defect, 
The plaintiff claimed that the spirits financially lost include but not limited to out of pocket costs related to the repair cost of the obtaining auto transportation and decreasing value of their vehicles. The plaintiff also claimed that the suffer harm because their vehicle transmission and related components uh, substantially pertain to failure before they experience useful life as one before class action lawsuit alleged. Fort recently we recently reached a 365 million settlement with the U.S. Department of Justice over allegation to put the uh, Shane Grove uh, back seat in the cargo van to avoid a 25% duty rate. Hey. And named Jones is represented by Kenneth A. Stern of Stern Law PPLC Arm L. Well of Well Law's office. Amy L. Marine of Marano Law PPLC and William C. Outweigh J.R. of the Newsom Melton PA. The Ford Transmission Class A lawsuit in Yokard, Curry Jones versus Ford Motor uh, Company. And I put later on the screen because they give you the case number. So, yeah. This lawsuit is not surprising to me because I've done articles in the past with, uh, about these lawsuits regarding transmission and everything else. So this is not a shock to me at all. More than still is, you just got a lot of crookedness out here. And they're probably going to continue to be a crooked until some major league actions take place because it don't make no sense. You got this situation. You got a, you got a, uh, the lawsuit that's still going on with the car dealership in other states about the dumb meeting. You know that that's still going on. I did a I did a short uh, video uh, about that the recent uh, a dumb meeting uh, scandal that's going on. You, you you just got so much going on with these people for real. But in hindsight, y'all tell me what y'all think about this whole situation. Leave your thoughts down below, and I will see y'all next time. D-Lo out.